Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your favorite rude boy here, and I'm uh, in my car. I've been invited to go paint at a poetry slam here at the local art museum in Roanoke, Virginia. Um, so I got the car all loaded up, uh, getting ready to head there, and uh, I'll see y'all when we get there. I always told her we bonded over broken bones, shared our smiles but was fractured from head to toe. She was an artist, a gemstone so green I couldn't believe my eyes, carved herself from pain and self-love she was trying to find. I was a canvas, graffiti from people that just walked by and wrote their names saying I was here with the occasional XOs and arts that eventually smeared. But trapped by dogma, with the desire to be amazing to someone while overwhelmed in fear, despite all this, her hands were gentle and her intentions seemed clear. I loved her beautiful mind and I wanted to see what was in it. So I dressed in all white to show her that I was committed. She would wake up every morning and just paint to her heart's content. And I got to watch her smile and see the beautiful things her mind would invent. How to show me to the world like I was the unseen eighth wonder. Waking up the next morning to recreate, recreate me, filling me with love and strength and thunder. I never fear what I looked like when I was with her. Until the day she decided to spark painting with her true colors. Using this canvas, she tore in two with those controlling brush strokes and manic dry brushings, but would tell me she loved me at the end of every night, then would paint me white to keep me from leaving. Waking in the morning to face the same bitter greetings, I wasn't going anywhere because I loved her. So she stopped painting me white at the end of every night and just continued to add random colors until I looked like a giant sheet of burnt rubber, then tossed me out claiming it was because she wasn't a good painter. Then would pick me up, put me in the closet in case she ever wanted to try painting again. <laughs> <laughs> 